fashion. <laughs> and a long time ago, because my kids are in their 20s, when they were born, I was like Earth Mom. I made soap, I made crayons, I made baby food, you know, I breastfed forever. And I did all of those kinds of things when they were little. Mm -hmm. And then of course they leave and grow and all of that. And we got Jasmine. And when we got Jasmine, she had been an abused dog. Like she didn't have a tail and her paws were burned. And so mommy instinct came out and I just started doing the same thing with her, you know? And out of that came making treats and the making treats was just for fun until um, my husband, who's my partner in this said, why don't you sell these things? The flavors we came up with and we're still dreaming them up in our brain. Um, wanted is something that we already knew that Jasmine liked. So peanut butter was a natural um, because she loves anything that smells like peanut butter. And we also have a friend who sells um, dog food. And she had said, wow, if you could come up with a really good peanut butter one, that would be great. Um, the other things came from just things that she likes. Um, apple cinnamon, it just smelled really good to me. She liked it. There were a couple that we tried that she didn't like so much, so we didn't do. We thought, well, if she doesn't like them, they're not worth it. But everything that we have, she really does. I didn't know this, and, I, and this is not our first dog. My husband's always had dogs. I married into dogs, and we had a couple other ones. What I didn't realize is that dogs eat more with their smell, actually, than they do with their taste buds. Um, I know humans, I mean, I probably wouldn't eat anything that smelled bad, but I eat a lot with my taste buds. <laughs> but dogs are kind of the opposite. So it was really important that the treats smell really good, um, that you can tell what they are. If they're scentless, she's not you know, gonna go for it at all. And I think the smell is also important because as a dog parent, when you open up the bag, you want it to smell really good. And I think ours do. So this is Jasmine. She is a golden chow mix. And I say she was the inspiration for the whole thing. Uh, she's the CTO. She's the chief tasting officer. Everything has to pass her approval. Um, when we got Jasmine a few years ago, we got her from Golden Retriever Rescue League. And she was actually abused, unfortunately, at age six weeks. She didn't have a tail. And she her little back paws were burned off. And one of the things that we were told was that that stuff might not ever heal. And it has. It's fabulous. She has a great tail. Stand up for me. Want to show your tail? Well, you can see it kind of out here on the ground. Her tail grew back. Her paws obviously have lots of fur on them. And our vet really feels like um, so much of that has to do with how we fed her. Oh.